Okay, running on empty. Uh, oh, let's get one thing out of the way right off the bat. You're going to have to tune your guitar to open A for this one. Um, I, I don't think open G will work. I think it's got to be open A. Uh, and of course, this was played. I'm showing you how to play it on slide guitar. This was played by uh, David Lindley on the, the live album uh, Running on Empty which included this song, Running on Empty. And uh, David Lindley was a multi, in, or is maybe. Is David Lindley still alive? I, I don't I don't know, I should pay more attention. I used to play this in a band and uh, I, of course I, I had to play, you know, some of the guitar parts, the standard guitar parts. Um, along with uh, playing the slide part, so I just played it on slide guitar. I'm not really a lap steel player anyway. And it works fine just playing it on slide guitar. I use this uh, Epiphone Wilshire of mine because it's cut away really. You need to, this is the highest note in this solo. 22nd fret on the high E string. So that's about as high as you can go. And you need to be able to reach that note. So this guitar works well for that. Let's have a look at, uh, at how the, uh, the solo starts off. The first thing you hear is... Well, actually, the, the very first thing you hear is when the band goes to the, uh, the F-sharp minor, right at the start of the solo, you kind of slide up very lightly into that. Uh, it's a fragment of an F-sharp minor on the... Uh, ninth fret G and B strings All right and then that's the first phrase of the solo slide up to the 17th fret on the high E string then go down to the B string slide down a whole step 17 to 15 and then slide up into the uh, the 16th fret of the G string. I think you kind of tend to want to play you slide into and out of notes a lot because that's the whole advantage of uh, playing slide or playing any kind of steel instrument. Now, so that's the first that's the first lick. Um, then we do this thing. Okay, that's uh, 15 to 17 on the B string, up to 17 on the high E string. We toggle back and forth between the 22nd and 21st frets when we go up high. It's like this. Then the third lick is this. Right? Uh, 12th fret to 13th, then 12th fret on the high E string. Slide all the way up from 12 to 17, then down to 14. So the whole lick is. And then. That is, uh, you're starting on the 13th fret with the B string, toggle back and forth a couple times, and then go straight down a, a major arpeggio to the uh, 12th fret of the D string. Okay. So that's uh, 12 to 14, 12 to 14, and then uh, slide up to the uh, 12th on the B string. That's 
The second to the last lick in the song is Okay, and the last lick is This is all just 14 to 12 to the 12th on the B string and then you slide up to the 12th fret on the high E string. And actually you and then you end up uh, with a kind of sustained vibrato note on the uh, on the 17th fret of the high E string. And that's the whole thing. Uh, it does, it takes some getting used to, to get your notes uh, on pitch properly. I don't know if I got them all exactly on pitch. Um, I haven't played this song in a while. But that's how it is done. So uh, I'll see you next time. Be sure to sign up if, uh, if, you got, if you're interested in this kind of thing. Sign up and uh, hit the notification bell. And I'll see you next time. Thanks.